Tinubu just stepped on the toes of the U.S. government. His new policy will crumble the U.S. economy. U.S. President Joe Biden screamed. All right, my people, we greet you all this very morning. This is the Lord TV. Um, Joe Biden, the U.S. president, has lamented bitterly. Bitterly. This guy is not happy over Paula Ahmed Tunubu's new policy. Yes, he's not happy. You know, it's not even the only person that is not happy. Some other countries as well are not happy nigerian as a country hmm? in fact is not even happy nigerian as a country is not even happy why because that policy will affect the country will affect the country imagine removing subsidy in a period in a period that things are already very, very hard. The same thing that Buari did, um, did when he was in government. You know, taking a decision when things are very difficult. That is why it is very, very important that before you make any decision, you consult economists. You consult economic professionals for advice. I was telling someone yesterday that Tunubu is more stubborn. He's very stubborn. Hmm. Uh, the U.S. president is already lamenting that Tunubu is getting on their toes. Yes. Let's check the contents and know what he meant. Good morning, Nigerians. It is no longer news that Asiwajubola Ahmed Tunubu has been sworn in as the 16th president of Nigeria. It will be recalled that Asiwajubola Ahmed Tunubu was inaugurated by the Anthony General of the Federation few hours ago. The event took place in the presence of several dignitaries, including presidents of various countries. Tulubu took over from former President Mohamed Buhari, who served the country for eight years. Reacting over the inauguration, President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, has though congratulated Tunubu but with a lamentation on his new policy. According to him, Tunubu has just stepped on the toes of the United States of America. His new policy will be of no good to the government, not just the government, but to the country itself. Removal of subsidy is a very big error to the economy system of the Nigerian. The country is still struggling to sit up, neither to stand. Removing the subsidy will bring an increase in the sales of petrol. Nigerians will find difficulty at a very long run, and I tell you things will become very, very expensive. Hear him. I look forward to continuing this work with President Tinubu to support economic growth, advance security, and promote respect for human rights. The people-to-people -people connection between our two countries run particularly deep, nurtured by a vibrant Nigerian diaspora in the United States. But with this kind of policy, I don't think the economy will work out. You can see that. People are not happy at all. They are not happy. Because 
already they have seen it. You understand? Already they have seen it. No wahala. We are still on it. Um what I'll just say is that is still what I used to say that it is those people who fixed him in there will be the one to suffer. We will not suffer. We will not go hungry. Things will still work out well. No matter how they plan or what they do. You understand? Things go still better. You know, understand my people. Uh huh. Now, so they have. So, I beg, when I don't hear waiting Joe Biden, the US president, when I don't hear waiting talk, the guy need a happy and he need a smile at all for waiting just happen. Um, please, uh, let's quickly hear, hear from you on this very matter. Let us know what your own take, what your opinion, or what you equally think on this. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.